Hi guys, this is COD Strike and Ophir. I'm excited to make this video because uh, I'm just I just had like another fucking panic attack. It happens around I think it was around 11:59 midnight. So it was like started pretty much at the end of a Saturday and then pretty much in the early day in the early uh, Sunday. Right now, I think I'm pretty much in the less worst phase than I that I was, but uh, I'm still feeling the effect of it, and uh, I'm hoping I will, well, eventually you recover from this, but it's just fucking annoying, and so sometimes you feel like it takes much longer than usual. So, what was the trigger? I don't know. I know for a fact that, uh, you know, I've... My first trigger of a, of a panic attack was caused because of a, uh, of a sort of traumatic event. I misjudged a situation that uh, happened a while ago. I think it was like two years ago. Um, uh, suddenly, uh, while, while going to work, I didn't feel a pulse in my heart. I was feeling like a street, strange feeling. I don't know, like some sort of some sort of feeling of levitation or lightness. Maybe lightheaded would be the term for that. I don't know. But, uh, you know, I was wondering what the hell is going on. Probably because I didn't sleep well or something like that. But I went to check to my heart. And at that moment, I didn't feel a fucking beat. So that made me panic. Because I thought my heart stopped. And, uh,. But then, my my heart started beating because probably because I was so afraid of what was going to happen. I had a surge of adrenaline and it just pumped my heart real hard. The problem is that it lasted for a whole day and uh, I kept on working even though I was totally messed up and tired. I think that was a bad idea. I guess I kept doing it, doing it because I have and I wanted to have something to prove from uh, of myself, I guess. But uh, in the end, it probably gave me some damage. I don't know. But ever since that event, I got like I had randomly panic attacks for no freaking reason. Some of them I think they're tri triggered by caffeine, but some of them that just like comes out of nowhere. Other triggers that I think might happen, so either if I feel like some sort of strange pain in my arms or chest or jaw those doesn't really help and not they're not like continuous pain they're the look they're more like random pain light pain that just randomly goes there but then disappeared and usually I check like to see if, if there's numbness in there and there's none so yeah I guess my trigger basically is everything that's related to the heart I think my fear of of, it's not just the fear of having a heart attack, it's the fear that your heart suddenly stopped working. And it happens. It's, it's not uh, It's not something that doesn't happen. I mean, there's sucker players that uh, they can be the healthiest person on the planet, but eventually their heart just caves in and they die on the field. I think there was one, players, one player that, that died on the field. He was feeling, he was really feeling and his body had a hard time recovering from the oxygen. He couldn't deliver the oxygens to a point he felt heavily tired and just lost consciousness on a field and he died there. There's some people who basically if it can, basically what happens is that the heart I think it's muscle stare tears or it can be neurog no it can be the neurons too. I mean it can be a situation with the brain or something like that. But either way. So yeah. So what happens? Um after my two days of play tests, because um, um, on Thursday and Friday I did play tests for Ubisoft, and uh, it's not the play tests that tired me out. Uh, yes, yeah, sure, so sometimes you get nervous at, at this because this is not a job. This is not some. It's not like a. It's not a job. It's it's more like it's it's a, you you just picked up a hat. You get a reward out of this, of course, but. Uh, 
you know, it's it's not something you can make a living out of. But um, um, recently, uh, no, no, not recently. But well, anyway, those two days. Um, what didn't? Uh, it was not the game. The plate has tired me, but basically, it was like the, it was a walking. Um, Ubisoft's. Uh, Basically, the Ubisoft's office is ba is like an hour away from home, on foot. So instead of you know paying for a a, t a bus ticket, which costs like ten dollars because they they're not using like these coupon type, uh, you know, to, to get a to get inside a bus, but now they're using like some sort of digital cards that you know the 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 minimum price is ten dollars for four tickets. Decide to go with that system. Yeah, and um, what happened is, so I, I just went there walking. Takes me an hour, you know, uh, going and then coming back. Thursday was not that hard, but Friday I think it was probably the worst because I was feeling tired, but. Instead of just you know staying there and relaxing, I I, I think I did some more moving around, and uh, I'm pretty sure that didn't help at all. So yeah. On Saturday, I was basically feeling it, really feeling it, feeling it. I was really tired, even though that doesn't make sense because I I remember I slept well, but I was feeling tired as if as if I didn't recover, and it kind of reminded me the f uh, when I worked on. When I, I worked in Toys R Us during light night, uh, light, late night shift, you know, working in the in the um, in the storage part, heavy lifting and all, and usually I felt when I felt really tired because my body yeah, had a hard time recovering. You know, I was usually pain at that time, but uh, at that moment Saturday I felt like the same fatigue of so overworking, which sucks because it really screamed like I'm fucking out of shape. It wasn't pain, but it was just fatigue, and I I didn't feel like anything uh, to do anything at all, and I thought that was just me. But uh, my dad also uh, is feeling tired, so uh, so now I'm questioning what what could be the cause. But uh, I was at least I was not the only one. But uh, when it comes to panic attack attack, I was the only one who was suffering this. My panic attack, like I said, it was started late Saturday, 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 and basically started today. Um, if I recall the symptoms that I felt, um, things started to amplify. The first sign, what I felt was uh, was a s sort of nauseous. Um, I was feeling tired, but I decided to take a walk on that day. Uh, on Saturday, I decided to take a walk because, uh, well, basically yesterday, I decided to take a walk. I thought that would probably calm me down and, uh, you know, breathing a little bit more oxygen stuff. And, you know, after I came back, things got a little bit worse. I felt like some sort of irritation in my throat, so I thought, oh, please tell me that I'm not getting a of sickness. And I, I even eventually started getting nauseous. Um, instead of breathing from the nose, I started breathing from the mouth. Felt really uncomfortable. And eventually, I, you know, uh, I started heating up uh, from the face. I think, I think they call it hot flash or something. Uh, my my face started getting hot. My chest started getting hot. No pain, but it was just there. And uh, eventually, I, I, I felt weird in my stomach, as if I would throw up. But uh, since my mouth was dry, chances are it would not happen. So I instead, I started to drink water with salt in air, hoping that uh, I'm not suffering from dehydration. <sighs> and I'm also questioning myself if I'm suffering from basically taking too much caffeine. I'm not much of a uh, coffee drinker, but I do drink Pepsi and stuff. 
so that doesn't help. And of course, chocolate. Sugar rush and stuff doesn't help at all either. So I felt messed up for a whole for the whole night. Tried to sleep, have a hard time. Couldn't even do it. I think I recall I did like some type of partial dreaming. I had a hard time focusing, uh, you know, controlling my imagination. Just like my imagination is always when I when I sort of go to sleep, it was just the same fucking dream. I couldn't even think of something else. And the thing is that it was kind of a dream that I was still conscious. So somewhere along the line, something something was really wrong in my head. But then again, that's kind of normal. What you think? Panic attacks are basically any. It's basically a, like a neurological problem. I mean, it's a mental disorder or something. And I think, I think, uh, I think since it's not the first time that happens, I think I'm qualified to say that I'm having a panic disorder or an, or an anxiety disorder. But you know, it really sucked. Every time I, I tried to sleep, I was, I was feeling, I was, I was sweating. At the same time, I was shivering. I don't know if it was because of cold, but perhaps because somewhere on the line, my bus, was, my buddy was also, my buddy was tired as well. So sometimes when that happens, you have a tendency of shaking. But, but oh man, that was a fucking bad day. It's not the first time that happens. That's what I hate about it. And that means that eventually this thing is what I'm feeling, what I felt yesterday, and today, it's going to happen again. I don't know when, but it's going to happen again, of course. It's becoming a, it becomes a mental disorder. It's, it's a hard time. It's a hard thing to stop. But, yeah. So, I, I think I'm going to try and take it relax. Go on, go outside. I'm sure I don't know the cause why I felt this way. Maybe pollution, something like that. I need mean, irritation in my throat. Maybe maybe that was a pollution. Usually, some sometimes it happens when the, you know uh, around oat, autumns or you know, basically during winter time and stuff when the. When basically the oxygen is a little bit more heavy than the, than in the, than in summer, and the pollution itself had the tendency of just being more heavier, so uh, you have a you have a bigger chance of having a huge breathe in. But yeah, it could, it could possibly cause some sort of irritations. I don't know, but uh, I know my dad even today he still feels sick. Uh, not sick, but tired as well. So there must be something in the air. I mean, we live—I we live in an apartment that has a garage right right below a floor. I mean, at, at winter we don't even heat up anything in here. We don't use thermostat or uh, or basically we have like an electric fireplace which we can heat up the room. We don't even use that in the winter because the heat uh, that comes from the garage heats up our floor so it keeps us warm. Sometimes we're going to increase the temperature because we have tense when we keep a window open, but yeah. So I don't know if there's like a bad filter that's going on like if there's air seeping in from our floor and we might be breathing like breathing like uh, exhaust fume from cars that gets contained within a garage. I don't know. <sighs> Or maybe it's just a fucking bad day. Or, in my case, vitamin deficiency or something like that, B12. Maybe iron deficiency, magnesium deficiency, or... Oh, jeez, I don't know. There's just so many stuff. Anyway, I just... I already got a, like, uh... I think I... I, really have, I already have a schedule to meet at, uh, my family doctor for a full... Uh, uh, full body ex exam, well, basically a physical exam. 
And at the same time, I'm going to get, like, a blood test, see how it is. Uh, same thing again, checking my cholesterol level, uh, what kind of cholesterol. If I have cholesterol, what kind of cholesterol it is, type A, type B. Um, really doesn't help that the, one of my cousins died from uh, type B cholesterol. And apparently it could be genetic. And the genetic part, I don't know what is the cause of this. I can only assume that somewhere along the line there's a flaw in our body that uh, basically, that, I don't know, some type of cell that that does the work of getting rid of the cholesterols or fat. Uh, maybe we are insufficient in that kind of, of type of cells or organism. Or, or basically we just lack of it. And because of that, no matter how much we exercise or we eat healthy, it doesn't go down. So I don't know what, the, what it is. But apparently in my fa I think I'm in my family we have like a uh, cholesterol problems. I don't know. My last two bloods. Uh, my last two blood check uh, was zero per percent cholesterol. So at this this point in time, it makes me felt like you know, uh, kind of good, but makes you wonder if it, is it good cholesterol or is it bad cholesterol. Because, you know, if the bad cholesterol is 0%, okay, that's fine, but uh, what about the good cholesterol? Eventually, that, that thing can, come bad, can turn bad, so I don't know. But anyway, I think in my next, uh, the next time I get my blood check, uh, I'm going to demand, uh, like, an overall checkup, see for vitamin deficiency, um, like I said before. I don't know, if maybe some sort, maybe like, I don't know, maybe some sort of nerve checkup, neuron check, something like, you know, some sort of neurology, neurology, fuck. Well, basically a neuron testing, testing the nerve or something, because sometimes I feel pain and numbness, but it's out of random, it's not, say, so it makes you say, like, it's probably just a question of the nerves, not the, the, the arteries. And it makes me wonder if I have like some sort of uh, neural problems that might be starting to develop. I don't know. You mean not a tumor or something like that? Oh fuck! I should start thinking about that. But anyway. So anyway, I'm hoping everything's gonna be fine, dude. But seriously, I I tried playing GT5 online. Uh, yesterday, I I couldn't even do it. I uh, I couldn't I could only just play like 15 minutes of it. And I did a solo mission mission. Well, I did a solo session, so uh, you know, I was basically thinking of increasing my long capacity. But when you have other players who wants to shoot you down, that's kind of hard to do. But yeah, I try that, and even that. Even even if in the solo sessions, I was just like feeling way too tired to just play any kind of game, so I decided, oh, fuck it, I'm going to bed. But uh, <coughs> it eventually just that's at that point in time, it just got worse, worse. Started to sweat, felt cold in place. Not, not I had no numbness, but you know. Uh, face was hot, my chest was hot, my heart, you know, was beating fast, but something not fast, it's like every single move, made me, made me wonder if I had like blo low blood pressure, anyway, so that's my story for now, it's gonna happen again, I know for sure, but anyway, I'm just hoping it's just gonna stop for a while. I hope I'm just gonna keep. I know it's gonna get back, but just hope it's gonna be soon. You know, going back to normal. Because it's hard to get to maintain a normal life when you have this kind of things. Because if you want to keep your normal life when you have a panic disorder, you you either you can try and go go and see a shrink, but that that doesn't always help. Especially if you, if, if 
if it's something that's out of your control. And uh, the next thing they're going to try to do is just make you take pills and stuff and medication. And geez, eventually, you, I think you're going to start get uh, addicted to these kinds of medication stuff. Just so you can have a normal life. Well, anyway. So, um, you know, there's a lot of people who don't understand what it means to have a panic attack. My dad doesn't never heard what it was, a panic attack. So, when I told him about this, you know, once another time I, I had that, uh, he he was surprised he never heard something like that. So, for him, it was wondering, you know, if you're making that up or something like that. But panic attacks are not something that just gets made up. It's It's your body becoming highly sensitive to certain things that happens within your body or in the outside because of a traumatic event and because of that now your whole body instinctively is, is on guard and it's watching for any kind of sign or symptoms that might be related to something that it's very traumatic about that's, very tra that's been traumatized about so Even if you tell yourself you're having a panic, panic attack, it won't stop it. It won't stop it. You can try and do as you wish to con to encourage yourself, like it's just a panic attack. It's going to pass by. It's it's, it's not going to help at all. It's something automatic. It's it's something that can literally be out of your control. That's what it means. Basically, you feel like you're losing control, and you can only hope that it's just going to pass by real fast. So you can finally get some good rest. Well, anyway, that's it for now. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Nothing more, nothing, nothing less to say. See you guys around. I'll try to post more video game videos when I get a chance. I need a better video. I need a better digital recorder. My hot pot doesn't really do the job well. Anyway, see you guys around.